Hey everyone, Chris here. I just wanted to do a review video of my AR-15 pistol from OI Industry. A little backstory leading into this. I purchased it back in February. This is my first AR-15 platform. I've never owned one prior to this. So I wanted to make sure to do the knowledge and get what I wanted. The two things that it came down to was, do I want a rifle with a 18 or a 16 inch barrel, or do I want an AR pistol 5.56 or 300 blackout? Key mod, M lock. If I went with a AR rifle, would I want it to be for long range, like three gun, for instance? Do I want smaller barrel for home defense so a lot of these questions kind of gave way to me so as I was looking around I came across the OI Industries AR pistol let's go ahead and take a look at that as you guys can see it is very small this is a seven and a half inch barrel it did not come with the SDA-3 tactical brace. It actually came with this foamed cheek weld, cheek rest, buffer tube. I'll show you how this guy used to look just like that. So, for my birthday in May, I went ahead and purchased the SDA-3 tactical brace. My wife got me the Sightmark Ultra, I do believe that's what it's called. We'll do a review on that one later. We took it to the range twice. My wife has never shot before, and I took my grandfather, who's pushing almost 88. My grandfather, in a nutshell, is like... Superman. He's still up and running. He doesn't need a walker. He doesn't need a cane. Still out going fishing. You know, doing his daily today routine. When they both shot this for the very first time, they were tickled pink because there was hardly any recoil with this. You know, given the fact that it is a two two three five five six round. But they had such a blast with this. My grandfather was tickled pink. My wife was excited about it. It it was so cool. My uncle shot it and they just had a blast. This is a blast to shoot. I'll go ahead and take it out of the case and show you what this guy looks like. The reason why I put the red towel underneath is because I really don't want to scratch up my um, coffee table. I know that it has that rustic look to it, which is awesome, but I just don't want to have any deep scratches. I am currently running a one point sling setup with this. I'm currently testing it out. I know a lot of people prefer the two point over one point. I'm just kind of giving it a try. Let's go ahead and go over the specs of this little bad boy. 556, 7.5 inch barrel. Get this 1 in 7 twist, half by 28 thread pitch, M4 fever. That is pretty cool. Case hardened, 8620 steel nitrate coated, M4. AR-15 compatible, mil spec MP tested, 7 inch M lock free float rail, mil STD 1913 top rail, forged upper receiver, 70, 75, T6, mil spec forward assist, mil spec dust cover, and brass deflector, forged IO industries lower receiver, mil spec lower parts kit. That's a mouthful.
the bolt carrier group and charging handle are both GI. Now I know that a lot of people don't care too much about wiggle between the upper and the lower. It's it's a little, but it's not enough to, to worry. It's not enough to make me feel like, oh man, this is you know, this is gonna be bad, this is gonna be you know, horrible. It was very accurate. This actually has a two two three Valkyrie Vulcan barrel. I'll go ahead and show you guys that here in a second. I'm sorry guys, it is two two three wild barrel. So you you know you're gonna get some accuracy out of this with a A2 birdcage hider. This is not an ambi safety, it's just mil spec, mil spec bolt catch, bolt release, mil spec charging handle, and mil spec bolt carrier group. I did not put any Loctite on this when I purchased it, it did have the Loctite already on it. As far as the gas system goes, I'm not entirely too sure on that portion of it and it is raining outside so I do apologize for the rain and thunder at fully collapsed this is awesome if I can get it as you guys can see it is a very small package I do love the brace Like I said, my wife has shot it, my grandfather shot it, my brothers have not shot it yet. I'm hoping that they do coming up. I'll be able to get some range footage of this. They'll be turning 21. Oh, I know, right? So, all in all, this is phenomenal. I've only had one malfunction, and that is with the magazine. I don't know if it's something to do with the follower itself. This is a used magazine that I picked up for like seven bucks. I don't know if the spring is old and it needs to be changed out, oiled. I'm not entirely too sure, but that was my only malfunction was with the magazine. So I went ahead and got a hex mag. This thing is so cool. I know that a lot of people prefer GI mags over, you know, polymer mags and vice versa. But for $11, brand new, I jumped on it. So I live here in Colorado, so we have restrictions on our ammo capacities. I am looking forward to changing out the A2 grip for something different the charging handle this is GI charging handle I'm pretty sure that I mentioned that sorry if I haven't I want to change this out for a Raptor charging handle I would like to put a light on this I am currently doing a little bit of research of what light I want to run with a setup like this with a seven and a half inch barrel Thinking about going with a two-point sling here after a while to kind of give that a test. I'm not entirely too sure. Overall, I give this a 10 out of 10. This is a phenomenal AR. Could you use this in a self-defense? Yes. Is this fun to go to the range and plank steel with and have a great time? Definitely. So as always, thank you guys for staying tuned with me. Sorry about the video and the background rain and thunder. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you. Once again, I'm sorry that, you know, this video was a little bit longer than I wanted it to be. Thank you guys so much for staying tuned. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys in our next video.